Hello there, Sev here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on the control panel that you see here in front of me. In this video guide, I'm gonna explain how to use the control panel and how to read the information that it's giving us. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll understand how to use this control panel in your leisure vehicle. We're not gonna be solving any problems or troubleshooting any issues that people might have with a control panel like this. If you are experiencing issues with your control panel, then please do uh, consult your manuals or the help of a technical professional. This really is just a quick start video guide to get you up and running using this control panel inside your leisure vehicle. So let's get started. So the layout of the control panel features an analog gauge at the top and then three switches at the bottom with two LEDs to either side. Now we will start with the switches and we'll go from uh, right to left. The first switch is your battery selection and this is a three position switch. The middle is off, the top position is your leisure battery and the bottom is your vehicle battery and whichever position you put the switch in selects the appropriate battery. Uh, so that's very straightforward. So we are going to choose the leisure battery in this instance. The only real reason to move to the vehicle battery position is just to check your vehicle battery voltage using the analog gauge. Otherwise, you will always want to power your leisure vehicle via the leisure battery because, of course, that is the battery designed to do that job. Then, as you can see, when we turn on a battery, we have the analog gauge spring to life and it is indicating the voltage. So we're looking at the white part of the gauge and uh, we can read the battery's voltage in real time. The middle switch here is to allow us to check our water tank level. And if I press and hold this down, it's a sprung loaded switch. If I press and hold this down, this will then make the gauge display the water tank level, which is the blue part of the gauge. Uh, this vehicle is drained down, so as you can see, there is no water on board. And when we let it go, it returns to showing us the voltage in the selected battery. Next up, we have the water pump switch. And if I flick this on, this provides power to the water pump in the vehicle. When the pump is running, this LED will illuminate green. And finally, we have a red LED just here. This will illuminate when the waste tank is uh, getting full and requires attention and needs emptying. And that's basically it. That's how to use the control panel. Hopefully you found it useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.